Good afternoon, everyone. It's Maureen from Massachusetts. It's a beautiful day here in New England. I'm just loving it. It's colors. It's just so vigorous and um, gets me going, you know. It's just so pretty. We're not at our peak yet, maybe around the 10th through the 15th, I think. But it's getting there. It's just gorgeous. Uh, I'll take you for a little walk maybe in a little bit. Uh, I Here I have my pumpkin cup. <laughs> I just love it. Like I said, my thrift store finds. Uh, I'm big on my thrift stores, you'll find. And trash to treasure, that's kind of what I'm all about. So today, uh, because I bought a big bag of cement and the story goes that I put it in the back of my trunk of my car and we're having a little water damp issue in the trunk and um, 80 pound bag I believe and so it got left in there a good week and a half or so with a little dampness so guess what I got chunkamunka going on so my husband and I got it into the wheelbarrow and into the barn for a few days so today I had to uh, take a lot of it out and I did a makeshift, you know, Yankee Ingenuity sifter. So then I'm back. I had a little problem with the camera. Sorry about that. So I'm going to continue on here. I'm going to be mixing up that fine powdered cement, making it a little thin and getting my fabric pieces into the uh, bucket and I'm uh, continue on there. I'll move my coffee. Take one sip. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm going to put my apron on that I talk about. Just washed it all nice and clean. I like things clean. thought I'd do it today. Today's Thursday. I talk about Fridays, but Thursdays are Fridays. Those are the days I don't have other commitments going on. And I can do this. So, uh, I'll put my scissors in my pocket. I like my tools nearby. Put my gloves. Putting all on. And I have this. Okay. So, I have the water hose uh, right nearby as well, and uh, I think before I get started quickly, I'm going to take you over to the bottle area, the bottle she shed bottle wall project that we did this summer as well. COVID kind of prompted us to do it, and it's 122 bottles, I believe, well, mostly wine bottles drilled with holes in the bottom, uh, metal rods coming up through, lattice on the bottom of some of the walls where we only went two bottles high. But the other uh, feature wall is six bottles high. I think it's nine or 11 rows across. It's just beautiful. And we sit out there. I don't have it dressed up today. I picked up all the bedding because it's gonna rain tomorrow. So, uh, but I did wanna just show you. So I'm gonna, take you there now because it's just lovely and uh, another trash to treasure type of project you you take your wine bottles you drill holes in the bottom like I said you stack them you can get little rubber washers at your Abishans or local hardware stores to go in between each bottle um, this is the back side let me show you look at that folks and you'll see my other videos. I was in there uh, videotaping. Just gorgeous. And again, those are just bottles and on on the rods. Just gorgeous. This is that uh, clay oven. You'll see. I have, like I said, I have things ready for the the rain that we're supposed to get tomorrow. This is. Uh, the lattice uh, part where we only went a couple bottles high. 
and you'll see the you know the perspiration but what's good about it is we made it so that um, these rods can pop right out if a bottle breaks you can drill another one and replace it and that's what I like about that too but I'll tell you it's open it's all open at the top so it's just a fenced in area we absolutely love it and I've just been dressing it up with lots of fall decor you'll see Just, just fun. Just loads and loads of fun. And uh, again, I ha don't have my bedding out here and everything's kind of done over for the rain. But when we do get out here, it's so much fun. We're out here a lot, actually. Um, okay. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, we'll head back and start working on our project. my home. We love it here in New England. You can see all the leaves falling. Just gorgeous. Okay, people, let me get this somehow this screwed off, so bear with me. Measure uh, the ten. I've got my apron on. I'm gonna measure the ten cup. One cup measures. I've got that. I'm going to add my water. Just a little. Although, no, I'm a little heavier because I do want it thinner, evidently. It's my first time making one of these, too, so we'll be working together here. A little bit. Got my old spoon. I do have a trowel, so I can. but you can never take out. <laughs> so I have to keep that in mind too while I'm mixing this up. Thank you. 
got this bag. So, right here, folks. All right, got scissors here in my apron. So I'm taking my scissors and I'm just going to cut up the seam of this bag. That's the bag that was in the wheelbarrow. Use it to uh, oh, see little chipmunks running running by. They're so adorable. I think they live in the fence house. I'm a good size. <laughs> okay. Let me just put that there for a minute. Let me get a sheet. Now I'm going to take a piece and I'm going to start dumping it into the bucket of cement. So you can see that. Let's see if I can get that down. My first time too, so this is interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. All right. That one's looking pretty soaked. Let's see what we got. Take that out. Right bit over. I just want to move something so you can now see. Get it back up here. That's what I'm doing. Beautiful, beautiful fall day out here in New England. Piece number one. I don't know how many pieces and other sources they've used six or seven or more. So we'll see what it takes. Ooh, it's messy. Why do I have an apron on? You really want to think about Okay. Piece one, not looking too bad. Another piece. I previously cut these pieces um, before I started the video so that I could 
work uh, pretty uh, ongoing with you. Yeah. All right. Getting another piece going here. You'd be surprised, people. Just, just in that short time, the cement looks like it's already gotten dried up again. Oh. Adding a little more water. <laughs> I hope you all had a good week. I certainly did. I watched my granddaughter a few days a week and had her here. We made, we went apple picking, my daughter and my granddaughter and myself, last weekend. So uh, we got some nice apples at a nearby orchard. Nice. Cortlands and some mac, and the Cortlands uh, make a, a nice, nice pie, I find. So um, that's what we did. I made pies with my little one. She's seven, and she'll be eight in January, and she knows her. She knows how to make a pie, and I'll tell you, she did a good job, and it was delicious. I am not kidding you. Delicious. Oh, she's so proud of herself. <laughs> this girl knows how to make a good pie, though. My nanny taught her how to do it. Yeah. She's a pretty. Fashion of you know letting it bleed around it. Yeah. Letting it bleed up around it. Pretty, and then we'll try to take another piece. This is piece number three. Back in the water, tossing it around.
experience for both of us because for all of us, not both of all of us. Because this is all over there too. I didn't want to make one of these and now that I'm outside with my she shed area, I want to have a lot of nice plants near that tree over there that I showed you near the bottom. Of it. I want plants and I want nice I don't know what I could just did with that nice pair of scissors. So, uh, well, the next step will be to, um, I'm going to cut some, uh, or just stuff some of these pieces up under here a little bit, just to give it a little more.
this is the bag of cement that I use. Quick clean. Looks pretty good. I'm happy so far with that product. You want a little texture looking to it, but that's why you want to pleat it a little and give it that nice uh, look that you're going for. And that's why I'm doing this. Feel free, if you like this video, to be sure to, uh, you know, click on the button, thumbs up, uh, notify me, comment, share, all of that stuff. Subscribe would be, I'd love to hear from you and, and you know, have you as a subscriber. I'm trying to build my audience, um, you know, little by little. That's my hope. Uh, I know Rome wasn't built in a day, but I... I do hope that you're enjoying my videos, and as we go along, I'm sure they'll get a little tightened up and everything, but like I said, bear with me. I'm still learning, too, people. So, I'm having loads of fun with y'all, though. I really, really am. So, uh, I need to get a pair of scissors because I am not finding that pair that I brought out here. And like I said, with all the leaves around here i'm really not seeing them if they did fall to, and they could have fallen through here so i will be right back i'll turn the camera off and i'll turn it back on i'll be right back stay with me hi everyone i'm back uh got my scissors i just want to finish up here with um, cutting the edges and then we'll be um, preparing to let her